just because Whole Foods had a kind of tough quarter yesterday, that doesn't mean you should give up on the organic and natural food stocks. Actually, the opposite. You know I've been a big backer of this healthy eating trend for ages, even committed to paper and get rich carefully. And if anything, I think the weakness at Whole Foods tells you that the organic movement is bigger than ever. Listen to me. Because the entire reason Whole Foods got crushed was that there's now vastly more competition from other supermarkets. In other words, we've got more stores carrying organic and natural merchandise than ever before. The stores may be too risky now, but the companies that make the actual food are looking real good. They're arms dealers. So it's no wonder that Haines Celestial, a house of organic and natural brands like Celestial, Seasonings, Earth's Best, Rudy's, Blueprint, Garden of Eden, Greek God's Yogurt, many, many more, more roared today after it reported a better than expected quarter, two cent earnings beat off an 80, 86 cent basis. With record revenues that rose 22% year over year, big growth. Do you think General Mills has that? Plus, management raised their full year sales and earnings guidance, and that's why the stock shot up $3.60, 4.23% today. The last time Hain reported back in February, the market judge did a difficult quarter. We didn't. But the company CEO, Erwin Simon, came on to reassure us, and now the stock has begun to rebound. Can it keep climbing? Let's check in with Erwin Simon. He's the visionary founder, chairman, president, and CEO of Hain Celestial to hear more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Simon, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Jim, how are you doing? All right, how about you? Great. All right, when a company like Whole Foods has a disappointing quarter, people say maybe this category is peaking. But it really is the opposite, isn't it? You know, it's interesting, and I've got so many calls today. Oh, my God, what's going on with the category? What's going on with the industry? And, and a couple of weeks ago, you know, when Walmart announced they're bringing in organic products, <laughs> oh, boy, you know. We're, it's, they're it's, going to eviscerate hate. Uh, Everyone uh, told me that. Eviscerate. Listen, as I've said, and, you know, here we have, uh, different products here, but you know, there's $800 billion of food sold, and you know, the consumer wants to eat healthy. And the whole thing about you know, Walmart was 91% of their consumers want organic foods, that's why they're bringing it into their stores. And they didn't think that. I know they thought it was a fad, like you know, Costco thought it was a fad at one point. Listen, you had the CEO of Costco on here one time, and he was talking about one of its fastest growing categories. And again, consumers and retailers are listening to what their consumers want. And that's the good thing. You know, Hain, it's 20 years old, and we did over $500 million, $570 million in sales this quarter, our biggest quarter. You know, what we've built out there as a team is one of the largest natural organic food companies right. in the world. And the infrastructure out there, you heard me talk today about our expansion outside the U.S. Right. There's 2.3, 2.6 billion people just between India and China. I'm over in China next week, and I've been to India. And if we get 20% of that, look at the sales and the opportunities for us. So, you know, it's well, an exciting time for Haynes. But also, if you look at the Whole Foods, it, they, they mentioned Kroger as a challenge. Now, when I start, you know, Sprouts, obviously, a good quarter. When I hear the Kroger, what that says is it's not that people don't want organic. It's that they want it everywhere they shop. And that means they need Hain. Listen, for the longest time... You know, other supermarkets watch what Whole Foods was doing. Right. And, and you know, listen, here, here's Whole Foods. I mean, they got... They are well, the best operator in the world. They, they are a fabulous, one of the best operators. You walk into Whole Foods today, they got 50,000 natural organic products. By 2018, you know, all their products are going to be GMO-free, and the consumers want that, okay? They, they absolutely, you know, best in class when it comes to it. But... You know, when you walk into a Kroger today, they have 1,800 yeah, products. Too. You walk into a Walmart today, they have 100 Hain products. So, you know, every retailer you walk into today has natural organic products. You heard me when I said on the call, wherever there's a cash, register, cash register, I want right. to sell products. So if you're in the airport, which you are plenty of times, yep. I want you buying our products. Okay, I think this is important because we always highlight your branch. you got that new Rudy's. Boy, but I happen to love their stuff. I actually love I actually eat most of your stuff. But there's, I brought this out. Not to make a joke of it, but these are great companies. They're great American companies. But I think there's a movie coming out called Fed Up Tomorrow yep. with Katie Couric. Yep. I think that this is driving that. I think that the diabetes epidemic is driving that. I think that there's a feeling among people that this is like tobacco. Do you think that could ever happen? So, so if I put this, which is fresh juice organic juice next to this, which is cold pressed, okay? Yes, it's a little more expensive. You look at the sugar, you look what's in here, you look at the sugar amount, and, and listen, you know, I have four kids. I mean, my kids just do not see this. You come back and look at the ingredients in here, the sugar levels, you know, the artificial flavors. Dumping sugar. I, I, I mean, we shouldn't be feeding that to our kids. Here's a Pringle. 
it, it's potato flakes. So you come back and look today, whether it's GMO verified, organic, and what it's rich in. And that's where the consumer is going. When are the schools going to start serving your almond milk and put it on, you know, and have some nice, good food on this organic bread? When are the schools going to start doing that? You know, Jim, they're doing it today. And again, only you know, the most enlightened. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I live in the city and, you know, my kids go to schools there. They are really have changed the food program because what they're realizing is their study habits, their learning habits as you eat better foods. They're well, doing a lot you better. You Google what's in this, and it makes you want to go buy that. Well, you Google what's in there, you're not going to buy it. But if you come in here today and look at the non-GMO verified and what's in here from an ingredient standpoint, that's what we should be eating. Listen, we're talking about gluten-free. And, and, and again, you know, we talk about Whole Foods. They have a lot of gluten-free products in there. They got a lot of organic mm -hmm. products. And the consumer is really, you know, educated about it. Price, we got to watch price, right. and that's the whole thing. And I know you can, talked about in food inflation and, on the call. And that's the big thing what Hain has going for us today. As one of the largest natural organic food companies in the world, hey, we took $50 million of productivity out, and we really got to watch price because the consumer will buy it. If price gets too high, and, you know, I listen to numerous people being interviewed about Whole Foods today, how they run away with price. That is a concern. Right. Supply no. is another big concern. Right. And again, from a Haynes standpoint, we are now sourcing all over the world. But the way I look at it, I'm not saying buy for the quarter. I am saying the long term, this is an endangered species, and this is what we'll be eating, and maybe you should invest for the long term. That's the way we do it. That's Erwin Simons, founder, chairman, president, and CEO of Haynes Celestial. Think longer term. Think what your kids eat. Think what their kids are going to eat. It's going to be more of this than it is this. Stay with Kramer.